Good morning, everyone. As you've already heard, this year's National Parliamentary Prayer Breakfast is being held in the same week as the UK hosts the 2022 International Ministerial Conference on Freedom of Religion or Belief, an international gathering in the QE2 Conference Centre just across Parliament Square here, with around a thousand delegates from a hundred countries, including dozens of government ministers representing countries from around the world. Many of you are here this morning. You've travelled here to the UK and you are most welcome. Thank you for being with us at this important conference so that together we can work out how governments, faith and belief leaders and civil society groups can make a difference for the millions of people across the world today in the 21st century who are persecuted and discriminated against simply on account of what they believe. People of all faiths and none, including an estimated 360 million Christians who are highly persecuted across the world today. Yes, right across the world, People are losing their jobs, education, homes, livelihoods, families, freedom, access to justice, and even life itself, simply on account of what they believe. People are being discriminated against, marginalized, beaten, tortured, threatened, and killed, and too often by their own governments, the very governments with a duty to protect their citizens' freedom of religion or belief. Let's pray for them. Lord Jesus Christ, we lift before you now all who are persecuted, including those in prison, poverty and pain. We ask that you would comfort them, that you would make yourself known to them in a special way, and that in their dark times they would know the light of your love. Strengthen and equip all who seek to help them and bless this week's conference on freedom of religion or belief here in London, that it may be a turning point in steps to change the lives of those who suffer across the world today simply because of what they believe. Amen. Amen. A prayer for Parliament. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, our great and awesome God, we praise you and thank you for your great love for us in Christ Jesus. We thank you for the system of parliamentary democracy that we enjoy in this United Kingdom. Please continue to protect it and use it to bless us. Please make Parliament to be a place where the voice of the voiceless is heard, where truth and justice prevails, and decisions are made for the common good. Lord, we pray for members of both houses. Please help us not to be motivated by selfish ambition or vain conceit, but to work for the flourishing of all in our society. Please equip all members of Parliament to serve and represent their constituents with wisdom, humility and grace. And please give all members of the Lord's insight, integrity and diligence as they shape and scrutinize legislation. We pray for Christian politicians that we may be quick to listen, careful to speak, and slow to become angry. Please help us to be ready to forgive and reconcile, because Christ forgave us and reconciled us to you. We pray that Christian politicians would be ambassadors for the Lord Jesus Christ here in Parliament treating all people with dignity and compassion, knowing that they are made in your image. Please equip us and mould us to be salt and light in all we do. We ask all these things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A prayer for government. Almighty God, by whom alone kings reign and princes decree justice, 
and from whom alone comes all counsel, wisdom and understanding. We pray that you will send your blessing this day on our Prime Minister and on every member of government here in Westminster and in the devolved administrations. Grant them your wisdom that they may govern in the interests of all your people and pursue all that makes for the common good. May your spirit inspire them so their decisions and actions reflect your integrity and truth, your justice and your mercy. May they be gracious in success and humble in failure. Bless their families and friends and their lives beyond Parliament. And when times are really hard, Lord, grant them strength and resilience and bless them with your peace, which passes all understanding. We ask this in the name of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. A prayer for the people of the United Kingdom. We lift up to you, Lord, the people of the United Kingdom. Thank you for the privilege of serving them in our roles as parliamentarians and as church leaders. Give us wisdom, courage and strength to serve them well in truth and in love. Would you help us to meet the needs of those who can see nowhere to turn as they face rising prices, crushed by anxiety as they seek to meet the needs of their families? Help us also, Father, to wisely unite our communities as we recover from the many impacts of the pandemic. Thank you, Father, that you have called your church into action as we face growing hardship in our society and in meeting need throughout the time of coronavirus. Let us grow in our practical compassion for the people of this country in obedience to you, in response to your saving grace through Jesus, who died to save us, overthrowing death itself for all who trust in him. Lord, when you saw the crowds, you had compassion upon them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Please would you look upon the people of this country in the same way, harassed, helpless, in desperate need of you. Have compassion, we pray. We know the greatest need of the people of this United Kingdom is that they find forgiveness and redemption through Jesus. Humbly we ask that this realization would grow and spread and that many would accept you as their Lord and Saviour. We pray also that we would not shy away from making the gospel known, making our need for forgiveness known, and making you known as the only one who can forgive. We thank you for the people of our country, each and every one known by you and possessing enormous value and dignity, fearfully and wonderfully made, and made in your image. Have mercy upon us, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer for the world, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for our world. Thank you that you promise to be close to the brokenhearted and to save those who are crushed in, crushed in spirit. And we want to pray for all those who are suffering as a result of the conflict around the world and particularly the war in Ukraine. Lord, we cry out to you, asking you to bring a swift end to the Ukraine war. Please enable justice and righteousness to prevail. Please limit the bloodshed, protect the vulnerable, and comfort those who are fearful, anxious, and hurting. Please help Ukrainian Christians to remain a beacon of hope and light in this dark time, as they seek to hold out the good news of the gospel. Please have mercy on poorer countries who are feeling the repercussions of the Ukraine war very acutely. Please prevent more countries from descending into famine and protect the most vulnerable in our world. Please give world leaders and international NGOs great wisdom and compassion as they seek to respond to the war and its knock-on effects globally. Lord, we know there is so much injustice in our world and we pray that you would expose it for what it is and that it would be made right. Please give each and every one of us courage, love and perseverance so that we will play our part in seeking to bring an end to all oppression and suffering. We pray for your kingdom to come and for your will to be done. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. amen. 
<clears throat> now, two years ago, a small group of MPs prayed the Lord's Prayer as part of the online national parliamentary prayer breakfast during the pandemic. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. Amen. Today we have nearly 700 of us in here. And let us join together in praying the Lord's Prayer as we bring our prayers to a close. Please join me. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the King, the power and the glory are yours now and ever. Amen.